Hold on. Press it in with a pen or something. Start back up. Okay, I'm gonna make some for me. Honey. It's okay, baby. Can you make the formula? I'm gonna be home in 10. Sam? Whenever Hollywood make a movie on a religious theme, we must be very discerning of the general mindset of producers and directors in Hollywood, in that they are generally haters of the one true God and his Christ. Now we have in one year three movies made about a rapture theory that much of Christianity in the West has embraced. My question is what is the agenda of Hollywood if they are spending so much money to create these movies? Left Behind, based on the novel by Tim LaHaye starring Nicolas Cage, released in 2014, focuses on the events post the rapture of the church. It is a remake of the 2000 Christian film under the same title starring Kirk Cameron. The remaining, released in 2014, is also a film based on the same theme as Left Behind, those remaining after the rapture of the church and how they handle the paranormal activity on earth. The Leftovers also premiered in 2014 as a TV series and shows the state of humanity after 2% of the population suddenly goes missing after a global event called the Sudden Departure. First question I ask in relation to seeing that Hollywood is getting behind creating movies around a biblical theme such as the pre-tribulational rapture of the church is what is their agenda? In the last few years, Hollywood spent millions of dollars to create two of the most unbiblical Bible movies of all time, Noah and the Exodus. In it, we see a continuous Gnostic theme with a corrupt storyline. What Hollywood has worked out over many years of faithfully producing excellent, culturally corrupting hit movies is that you don't have to worry how many people realize whether they are being dishonest. You just ignore all the backlash and then the bulk of those who see the movie will just naturally assume that it is a truthful account or near enough. And even if people do not make a decision one way or the other about the story of Noah and Moses, subconsciously their view of biblical things will naturally be the result of what they unwittingly accepted after watching these movies. If you have no idea what the true account is, what basis do you have to assume that what Hollywood has produced is false? Many people will say, but it is just a movie, they don't harm anyone. This attitude has seen our culture slowly slip into decay and degeneration. With every new lie introduced into our culture, we see it becoming more and more ungodly. So my issue with these movies on the pre-trib position is why does Hollywood bother spending so much money and effort to create such movies? And if Hollywood only ever make unbiblical Bible movies, should not these movies be setting off alarm bells in Christians' minds about the pre-tribulational rapture theory, considering that the leading pre-tribulational rapture teachers in the world, such as Colin Lanuri and John Walvard, among others, they admit that there is not one scripture in the Bible that explicitly states that the rapture is prior to the tribulation. And many even admit that the pre-trib rapture theory is not a doctrine of the early church. Several pre-trib leaders, say for instance John Walvoord and others, have mentioned that there's not a single verse that clearly teaches a pre-tribulation rapture. I was going to say the same thing. Okay. I don't think there is a single verse that, that uh, supports the pre-tribulation theory. However, in relation to the timing given in the Bible about the rapture of believers, it is always spoken of in a post-tribulational context. As Joe Schimmel said, and I quote, this is a recipe for apostasy. If the church believes it will be gone before the Antichrist appears, which is in conflict with 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 1 to 4, and she does not get raptured and is forced to go through the tribulation, we very well will see what Jesus warned us would take place in Matthew 24, 9 to 13, where he said, Then you'll be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you'll be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And Matthew 10, 21 to 22 says, Brothers will betray brother to death and a father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. 
All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Joe Schimmel points out that G-rated family movies make more money at the box office than does all the other movies, and so people ask, why don't they make more family movies? It's because it's not all about money. It's about pushing ideologies. There is an antichrist spirit in a lot of directors and actors in Hollywood. If it was all about money, they would be doing it right to the biblical script. Noah would have been far more biblical and they would have got a ton more people to go to see the movie. Ridley Scott, the director of Exodus, is an atheist. Hardly the right director to portray the movie accurately. Darren Aronofsky, director of the movie Noah, is a Gnostic film producer who was reported as saying that Noah is the least biblical biblical film ever made. Vic Armstrong, the director of Left Behind, is quoted as saying, I am not a Christian. The remaining was directed by Casey La Scala, who claims some kind of Christian upbringing, but it is quoted as saying he did not want to create a movie that was too preachy. And in an interview with Diabolique, he is quoted as saying, I don't want people to walk away thinking that you have to believe in God and join the Christian church or you're not going to be saved. I want this to be about love the one you're with. Because anything can happen at any given time, you need to embrace life. So what it comes down to is if Hollywood are for certain ideologies, such as the pre-trib rapture, then questioning that view and portrayal should be uppermost in our minds. In all these movies, God is portrayed as bad, unjust, and evil. He took them to protect them from the darkest time in the history of this world. The God my mother talked about would never do something like this. And the rebellious towards God are portrayed as heroes. What do you want? What? Are you following them here? Everywhere! They're going to come, and when they do, somebody's going to get hurt. Mothers have their babies stolen by God, planes unpiloted, flying into populated cities, cars running off the road in the people. This leaves the audience with an obvious disdain for God. I believe Hollywood is setting up the church for a great fall in these last days when tribulation will hit the church. Tim LaHaye wrote in his book, Rapture Under Attack, If Christ does not rapture his church before the tribulation begins, much of the hope is destroyed and thus it becomes a blasted hope. So in other words, if you are still here when the Antichrist comes, then you can write off Christianity as a blasted hope, not worth believing in. These are some very scary and dangerous words to put into the minds of millions of Christians. Preparing believers falsely for a rapture that won't happen before the tribulation is, as Joe Schimmel said, a recipe for apostasy. This is Satan's plan to bring the church to annihilation, I believe. I believe it is better to be prepared to go through a tribulation and not have to, than not to be prepared and then be forced to. Also with the fact that there has been more martyrs in the 20th century than all the other centuries since Christ combined, we should really be taking the words of the Apostle Paul in Acts 14.22 very seriously. And he said, we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Whether you believe in a pre-trib rapture or not, you should be prepared for the tribulation. Because the Bible tells us in 2 Thessalonians 2, 1-3 and Matthew 24, 9-10 that there will be a great falling away of believers at the time the Antichrist is revealed. If we love our lives, we will lose them. But if we lose them for Christ's sake, we will find them. Could it be that the pre-tribulational rapture theory is the thing that is going to prime believers to turn away from Jesus when they see themselves not raptured out of the tribulation and they see the Antichrist standing in the temple in Jerusalem declaring himself to be God? Our attitude should be exactly that of the first church, that no matter what happens, whether trouble or hardship, persecution, torture or even death, that we will not turn away from faith in Jesus Christ, our only Saviour. This has been an MTL Ministries production. Please subscribe to our channel and register for our podcast on iTunes by searching out Rob Cartledge in the iTunes store.